guys yes 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 i am back with another video guys i am doing the kennedy fried chicken mukbang yes guys i know you guys wanted a longer video so i have my food here kennedy ah don't want it to be tragic so i have some wings and fries guys i have my hot sauce I have my soda um, have my napkin, and I'm just gonna start eating, guys, so you guys could really see what I'm really talking about. This is the food here, guys. Can you? See? I hope you could see the fries. So I'm just gonna take out wings and start eating. I have the fries. And you know I always drink Diet Pepsi, guys. It has the lemon in it. If you can see the lemon. Um Okay, how how has everybody's day been? My day has been interesting. It's very cold out in New York City. I can't take it, guys. I cannot take it anymore. Um, if you live in New York City, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't live in New York City, it's been freezing. It's been the teens since our own, I think, Christmas. It's been, it's, been in the, it's, it's been bad, guys. It's been really bad. It's been in the 20s, teens, since like around... Like, like around Christmas, New Year's Eve was like 10 degrees and crazy people were still in Times Square. I don't know what for, but, you know, people from New York, you know, us, people that live in New York City don't really go to Times Square to see the ball drop, guys. It's mostly, um, it's mostly people like who don't, who are not from here that, that really go. So, um, I've never seen the ball drop live, guys, in case anybody is wondering. I always watch it on my TV, and I was not going in no 10 degrees because people are crazy, guys. People stand out there from like 12 noon until the ball drops at midnight. Okay, can, can, can you imagine standing outside in 10 degree weather all day? That is crazy. So I'm not doing it, but, um, And I want to say Happy New Year to everybody, new, new, new subscribers, my old subscribers. Happy New Year, guys. Um, I am just happy that I'm alive and I'm seeing 2018, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm... So, I was looking at an article well, okay, anyway, I'm um, Okay, um, yeah, I was reading an article where there were, okay, pretty much 21 young people died, was shot, well, 21 young people died last year in New York City. All of them, 20 of them were, were, young men it was one girl who got killed all but two of them were shot you know the other two were stabbed they're saying that it's 
hard for an African American or Hispanic male between okay, the lead the, they said I guess the Centers for Disease Control, they said the leading cause of death is murder for an African American male, I think eighteen to thirty four. So, you know, that's just crazy. So you're telling me in the in the hood people are dead before twenty one? That is sad. And a lot of the people on that list was young, 16, 17, 19. It's crazy. But see, a lot of these people who died, they wasn't the intended target. You know, people, crazy people are shooting, and then they caught the bullet and they died. You know, so a lot of them was like innocent bystanders. Not all of them was, you know, you know, like, okay, maybe a few might have been in gangs, but a lot of them was innocent bystanders. There was a 15-year-old boy who was with his friend, and the friend was wearing a red sweatpants. So this man jumps out of a, well, it was February, but it happened to be like mild that day. That day, that day was maybe like 60 or 65, but the school was closed because it was on um, President's Day. And you know the, the the you know the fifteen year old boy was hanging out with his friends. So then so then this man get um pulls up, well a, a SUV pulls up, and this man jumps out and he has a gun, and he starts shooting. The fifteen year old boy died, but I think he was aiming for his friend in the red sweatpants. And then the mother was like hysterical because you know when. The boy died like around the corner from where he lived at. So, you know, it, it's crazy. You could just, just by being with somebody or whatever, you could get killed, you know? And I don't understand why parents don't question what their kids are wearing. You're 15, 16, you know, and, and you know, you, you, you're you asking for a red pants. Parent don't, parents don't ask, why do you want a red pants? Why do you want a blue pants? Talk to me. <laughs> I don't understand that. It's a reason. They're not wearing it for their health. They're not gang. But, you know, parents, a lot of parents don't ask questions. And you have to, you know, you have to question these kids. They they living in your house. You know? <laughs> you call the shots. They don't. But maybe some parents, maybe. maybe but, you know, it's a lot of single moms. You know, maybe they're sc scared of the te teenage boy. Who, who knows? Single moms, they're busy. They're not home. They have to work, so they're not really seeing. They're not really seeing what these what these boys are doing. They're at work, you know, trying to make trying to make they you know their money. So you know, a lot of people they work you know all kind of different shifts. Some people they work nights. So you know, the teenage boy you know has like all night you know to roam. Not everybody works a nine to five. So, a lot of them, they work all night, and when they get home, like the child is like getting ready to go to school, you know, if if they even go to school. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty much it. <laughs> and if you don't know, Kennedy Fried Chicken is my local, it's like a diner. They sell burgers, fries, chicken, Philly cheesesteaks, gyros. Fish sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, you know, whatever, whatever you would like, they sell it. So, it's a chain. I think it's mostly in New York, New York and New Jersey. I don't know about Connecticut, but I know New York and New Jersey, we have this chain called Kennedy. So... But I am, I am kind of happy, guys, that the weather is like this because it keeps the crime down. When, 
when the weather is like this in the teens and 20s, it's too cold to start robbing people and, you know, and shooting people. You know, everybody hides. But when it's like mild, like 30s, you know, 40s, you know, that's weather you you could like really like, you know, walking. And then people start acting stupid and shooting. And I'm, you know, I, you know, I'd be outside, you know, you know, shopping or whatever. I don't want to get killed. I want to live to see tomorrow. And then I want to talk about this fire situation. If, if you live in New York City, you know what I'm about to talk about. If you don't live in New York City, I'm going to explain to you guys. On Thursday, I think it was a Thursday, last month, last year, a little boy three, unsupervised, apparently, was playing the gun burners on the stove. He must have got maybe newspaper or paper and the apartment was on fire. So his mom ran out of the apartment with the three year old and the two and the two year old brother, left the door open. Okay, now keep all of this in mind in the story, guys. So this person runs out. And then a, a neighbor of hers on the first floor was like, I couldn't see her. No, I I couldn't see her, but I could hear her. And the lady was whispering the word fire. Instead of shouting out fire, you know, loud for the building, because it's a, it's a five-floor walk-up. If you know anything about the Bronx, a lot of the buildings are walk-ups. So they instead of four floors, they have five floors. So the fire spread from the first floor to the fifth floor. Okay, now remember I said she left the door open, guys. If this animal had to close the door, it would have just been contained to her apartment. This idiot left the door open. It spread. People went on the fire escapes. The fire escapes were full. Twelve people died. A baby, seven months, seven months old, died with their grandmother in the tub. I guess the lady didn't know what to do, and she went in the tub with the with the baby, and they they died. So a lot of people died like with their kids. So you know, all of this could have been prevented if this lady had to close the door. A thirteen person, you know, just died. They said in the hospital. I think more people might die from this thing. I don't think it's over. I think it's more. I think it's more people gonna die from this fire. The smoke, it's not even, it's not even. It's not the burn. I think it's the smoke got in these people's lungs. And that's what killed them. But, well, I guess. I guess when he becomes of age, somebody's going to let him know that you're a murderer. You, you, you're the one that caused this, and the mother too. So I guess when he becomes of age, somebody will show him the article. You started this. Um. But, um. Okay, guys. Um. I'm still um enjoying my little Kennedy. So anyway, guys, so that's what happened, and I was kind of um, well, I wasn't really surprised, guys. The story made world news. That Bronx fog, you know, so many people died, you know. But that wasn't the um that wasn't the worst fire we had in New York City. We had a, a, a fire back in nineteen ninety. Um this crazy man he 
was mad his girlfriend broke up with him, so he bought um a dollar's worth of gasoline and he went to a club. And he burned the club down and 87 people died because there was only one exit. So, you know, he killed 87 people, this person, and that was like the worst fine. And, and a lot of the people in the club wasn't even, they were under 21. A lot of them was teenagers. It was like a local club, like in um, like in Manhattan, um, like a Domin um, Dominican club. And people 17, 19, 20, people, people who wasn't even 21 was in the club. And it was like a fire hazard, like one exit. So, you know, everybody was like trampling each other. And as I said, 87 people died. So that was really crazy. And the man, and the, and the, and the, um, the man's girlfriend, <laughs> it was crazy. He wanted to kill the girlfriend, but that lady lived because she was working like in the boot, like taking the money. And she ended up running out and she lived. That was just crazy. And everybody else died. And there's a, there's a, um, there's a wall, I think, where the club like used to be, and it has like all the names of the people that died. So that is what's going on here in New York City. We have a lot of crazy people. Um. Man, I tell you guys. I wish I was in Florida right now. I could see Curry and Bryce and Tiller. <laughs> I could start the New York right by seeing Trey. <laughs> I wish I was in Miami, guys. I wouldn't have to deal with 15 degree weather and, and put them two layers on. I had to wear two sweaters, some leggings, and my jeans, and then my boots, and my heavy socks. Can, can, you, can, you, can you imagine that, guys? It's, it's horrible. If I was in Florida, I would put on one of my summer dresses, put on my little sandals, or what, you know, something, something cute. Y'all know how I do, something cute. And I would be in there. But I'm from New York, guys. So, you know, I really wished I lived in Florida. I wouldn't have to deal with this coldness. But Florida has changed. Florida is not the same as it used to be. Um, I think people, I think people in Tallahassee experienced um, snow. And you know they have, you know, if you if you're born and raised in Florida, you don't know what snow is. You don't know what coldness is. They um, it dropped to maybe like thirty degrees, and that's you know unusual. And it snowed. It wasn't nothing major, like a little dusting, but it was still snow. They say it's snow cold. It, it's so cold in Florida that iguanas and the trees. Oh my goodness, the poor iguana. The iguanas are falling out from the trees. And they're frozen. But I don't think they're dead. They're just frozen. They're not used to the cold. So iguanas are, are dropping out of trees in Florida. And they say, like, when they warm up, I guess they'll start, like, you know, I guess curling again or whatever. That's, that's crazy. And the Giants, the, their season is over. Yep, their season is over. And they were all like blaming Eli and all these people. Look, if Odell Beckham had a guy in hurt, they probably would have maybe gone on. You know, but he's he's a good um 
what they call it, um, I forget his position, guys, but I know he's the catcher, the wide receiver. He's a wide receiver. Eli Manning is the quarterback. He's the thrower. And Odell is the wide receiver, the catcher. So he broke his ankle in September. Like the second, it was, it was only the second day, you know, guys. And then he had to have like this metal, like, 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 this like special boot. For you know the um for the ankle you know to heal so it, it 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 healed he got the boot taken off last month last year so now he's working out again so you know I'm looking forward to him in the summertime I really I really want to see him um get back on the on the field and maybe maybe <laughs> maybe next year we'll get to the Super Bowl I don't know guys. <laughs> Maybe next year, who knows? Maybe 2020, I don't know. Mm. Hmm. So, that's it, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys wanted a longer mukbang, so I'm doing. I'm at what 21 minutes now. Cheers, guys. Yes, guys. That's the end of this mukbang. I've finished my food. Um, I will have a story time right after this video, guys. It's <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting story. And um, thank you guys for watching my. Videos, rate me, thumbs up, don't forget to click that button and subscribe, I'll catch you guys in the next video.